everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how I plan my home learning schedule. Obviously I'm not officially home learning and homeschooling because that is a totally different ball game to what we're currently dealing with right now. It's more virtual learning. So I actually have two children still at home. Freya is back at school now. So I have Eva who is in year two and Elsa who is in reception class. She obviously could be going to school. However, we have kept her at home for a few reasons mainly because I think social distancing for a five-year-old is totally different to an 11 year old and also partly is to keep Eva company because I think if she was on her own she would be really bored and I think her mental health would really suffer so we've kind of kept them two together so it was requested for me to share how I plan my home learning schedule and I have no idea how I'm going to film this video so you're gonna to have to bear with me on this one but I'm gonna try and talk through how I plan and how I go about sorting out a schedule because I am following a kind of schedule that I set myself. I'm going to try and explain it to you as best as I can and I'm also going to show you some little clippy things if I can. I'm going to scooch over in a second and hopefully you'll have some sort of idea and maybe some tips to plan your own home learning journey because we are still going through it all and maybe Maybe you just want to be nosy so let's get started with this video okay so first things first right at the beginning of all of this lockdown stuff our school were really really efficient in getting a virtual learning portal platform thing online each teacher put an example timetable online so i used that to kind of figure out what they were doing each day which subjects they were doing each day and creating my own timetable based on that Using those original timetables, as I've said from the school, I created kind of a drafted template that I would follow each week and add in the bits and bobs. So each week the school were uploading the different subjects and the different worksheets and the expectations for that week. There was absolutely no expectation to finish everything and there still isn't. Um, we kind of can pick and choose what we want to do and for me I have um, prioritised maths and English for obvious reasons and anything else if their maths and English isn't too involved and too difficult especially for Eva who gets very frustrated very easily um, I will add something a little bit fun like science or hit some of the history some art where where I feel necessary however my priority especially at the moment is their mental health and making sure they're having fun at home but also doing the maths and English so that will reflect in what I'm showing you in the next few bits but basically I go on every Sunday because everything should be uploaded by then I would basically log on to the online platform and I would download every single thing in that certain week so obviously this was easier to find with certain teachers um, so that is basically where I start at. I download absolutely everything and I put them into these folders. This is my home learning kind of original folder kind of thing. I've got it separated to Freya, Eva and Elsa and also in the videos that we download each week as well. They are here and I will download them even if we're not watching them. Just go into Eva's and I have it as virtual school because originally I had it as like a folder for Twinkle as well because I was using a lot of worksheets in the first couple of weeks on that and then I have it done in weeks. Now I am deleting it so that I don't use lots of space but as we go but this is this week's one that I'm going to show you and inside I have it as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and you might think that's a bit intense but it is what it is and it helps me to know like if I suddenly think I haven't got that sheet why have I not got that sheet I will go and look on the folder because I know that I've downloaded absolutely everything even if it's not relevant to what we've picked to do that week. Um, so in each folder the school have basically everything that we need so even things like the 100 square grid and stuff like that they'll have an example of that that I can print off so we need we don't really need anything maybe some craft materials here and there and a pencil and obviously she's also been sent home these work books that are maths books so this is basically where we go so first things first I will usually look in the maths there's like a virtual school maths document and a writing document which I'm showing you at the moment that's why I'm looking here um, and in those documents it spreads out across Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as well so it will give you page numbers for the workbook it will give you instructions for the writing and stuff like that so the school have really done everything for me in all honesty 
as you can see from this little clip here my timetable before was very jam-packed i set it out monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then in the columns was um freya eva and elsa first week we definitely stuck to times and i was doing home learning nine till three but i was also home learning them all at the same time which i soon realized was not the way forward and i needed to home learn each child individually so i kind of removed the timetable i suppose and instead started to use a to-do list which I will show you in a minute but basically I did still create this timetable to kind of give myself an idea of just how much they were doing each and stuff like that and I could see it all on one timetable one like spreadsheet so as you can see they had quite busy days and I made sure that kind of our afternoons were free and we were only doing it in the mornings but reality was that kind of we would wake up late or whatever so this like timetable soon went out of the window so using all of the worksheets and things that i've downloaded from the school i will type in the certain things for maths english etc and then after i've done that i can look to see where we need to add some bits because obviously i don't want her to be getting off lightly and not doing really very much so i will look and see like oh well I know that Eva's got the reading booklet that's been set by the school on Monday so Monday is a day that I will not add anything else because she does struggle with reading that's her weak point and I know that she'll get frustrated by that so we just choose not to do anything else other than those three things so it's a writing which is a grammar sheet usually on a Monday and a reading booklet usually by then pushed our limits with Eva so what I then do is I go on to Oak Academy this I think was set up by the government I believe I'm not sure and it's really good really good online classroom so I go on to the schedule bit and I click what year, which year group which I'm going to click year two for this one because I'm obviously talking about Eva's classes so I'll have a little look have a, I'll go on to certain lessons and see which ones might interest Eva might give her a little bit of fun something a bit different to worksheets you know anything like that they've got loads of things on there and I've been really impressed they're just basically a little video of a actual teacher doing a lesson and they have like split screens as well so that you can see what they're doing and they give examples and things like that we're really loving that one and it's really really good for Eva uh, for Eva and Elsa because Elsa I'm struggling with I have added in bite size as well there's sometimes some really cool lessons on bite size they're really simple really quick and they're very useful so I usually use those as well so I'll then plan our to-do list which I actually have a printed off version here for you it looks like this basically and I have these folders as well printed off so one each for each child I put that in there and then inside I have little A4 pieces of paper folded that go over the worksheets and they have Monday Tuesday Wednesday so they're all sectioned out as you can see Elsa's week is significantly smaller than Eva's there is a lot less that she needs to do the schoolwork that is set I find she is not having any motivation for at all um, so I pretty much scrapped that quite early on in my eyes I want her to be doing phonics and math so although she is not putting pen to paper very often I'm not worrying too much because she does have some time to catch up all of the girls have a subscription with reading eggs including Freya when she was here too I try to get them to do a bit of that every single day so we have the math subscription math seeds and the reading eggs so I try to get Elsa to do reading eggs which is like phonics and learning to read on one day and then the next day I'll try and get her to do the maths version she's struggling a little bit with the maths one and that so every day she has reading eggs on her schedule as you can see um, and I also go through Oak Academy as well there's nothing on bite size for reception years as far as I've found so I don't use any of those as reference but Oak Academy is quite good they read stories and things like that so I try to get her to sit down and listen to them I do think they're a little bit long they're like can be 10 to 15 minutes and I think for a five-year-old they don't want to be sitting around for very long so once I have put together that timetable I will go through and I will print off absolutely everything that we need for the entire week I have seen that quite a lot of people are only printing off as the you know each day but I think I'm going to print off absolutely everything so I have a big wad of paper the amount of paper we're going through is ridiculous and we can recycle and draw on the bits that we don't use on the back which is I've got a whole drawer full of like we're not just chucking away the paper so don't worry about that so I have these which just simply say on them Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday Friday on them and I will look at my timetable for that week 
and I will pop in any worksheets that are relating to that week. I don't think Elsa's got any this week, so I don't need to worry about her. Things like the grammar sheets and the reading booklets and the writing stuff, that kind of stuff will go in a certain day. So I literally pull out the day and we can see how much what we've got to do. Then the girls haven't done it actually since Freya's been at school, but where I've put this, I've got like little bullet points where they have like the hearts. And when we complete a task, they can colour in the heart and then they can see that they are actually completing things, which I think is quite motivating for them, especially if they're having a hard time getting through a lot of the work. And then I pop them all in these see-through folders with their little faces on. And then we're good to go for the whole week. And that is it. And it does take a few hours. It took me about an hour yesterday, actually, because there isn't much on there at the moment. And I've kind of got into a routine of doing it. So I am finding it easier to plan each week. And I know like if we're busy going to feed the ducks and things like that, then I will not plan as much during snack time and stuff like that. We will watch our church worship videos and we also watch Reach Out Reporter, which is like a science thing. And they're a couple of minutes long, so they're quite good to watch and the girls are actually really enjoying them very educational we also watch a lot of movies as well and then we do a lot of outdoor play and that's kind of as soon as our home learning kind of worksheet um educational stuff that needs to get done is done their whole day is for them so that gives them a lot of motivation to actually get things done as the same with their reading because it's done on their ipads and as soon as they've done that they can just go they can do what they want so don't put too much pressure on yourself that's probably my biggest tip i was like right at the start i was like bang 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 we're getting this done and now it's like no we we just do the bare minimum the, the stuff that they need to do like the maths and english because it's important they can read and write yeah that's basically my how i do my home learning schedule i hope this has been interesting for you i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe because i i do lots of other videos not just home learning we vlog our family life quite often and also i talk about autism and and anxiety days out and I'd love to have you here um so yeah don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this um a like because that really helps with YouTube stuff I don't get any money for it or whatever but it just helps YouTube to realize that you are liking my videos and watching them so I really really love it if you just hit the like thank you and I'll see you all again in my next video